Ciao and welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be taking another trip around the world. Today we're going back to Italy and we are going to be making a dessert rather than a uh, side dish. So we are going to make cannolis. Uh, we're going to make three different types. Uh, so the base of the cannoli is going to be the same on all of them. We're just going to mix and match the different flavors. So for one, we're going to use uh, machine cherries. For another, we're going to use coconut. And for the last one, we're going to use chocolate chips. Uh, fun fact, the cannoli actually originated from the island of Sicily. Basically all a cannoli is, is just a fried piece of dough with some uh, cheese filling inside. So it's fried and there's cheese. So what's not to like there? So without further ado, let's get cooking. All right, so to start what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup and a third of flour and put this into a food processor. Then we're gonna add three fourths tablespoons of sugar. And then we're just going to uh, pulse this a few times in the food processor to mix it up. And once we get that mixed up, then we are going to add our butter and our whole egg. And then we're just gonna pulse this until it's mixed up as well. So here we're just gonna add a fourth a cup of wine. So you may need to add more. Uh, basically what we're just gonna keep doing is we're just gonna keep adding wine until this turns into a dough. And there we go, there we have our dough. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bowl and we're just gonna oil it. And then we're gonna take our dough out and just kind of form a ball with it. So then we're just gonna cover this bowl with ceram wrap and let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. So while our dough is resting, what we're gonna do is we are going to take 16 ounces of ricotta cheese that has been strained. Then we're gonna take three fourths cup of powdered sugar and add that to the ricotta cheese. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply mix this up. After mixing this, I realized that the cheese filling is still a little runny. So all I'm gonna do is take it and then uh, just kind of strain it. So I've just got a normal strainer here with a spoon. Just gonna do a little bit at a time, just kind of swirl it around and then have the excess moisture fall out. And then we're just gonna keep doing this until the entire mixture has been strained. So after going back and forth of straining, uh, we ended up with something that kind of looks like this, uh, which as you can see, it definitely holds its shape a lot better so that when we pipe it into the actual shells, it doesn't just fall right out. So then next, what we're going to do is we're going to make our cannoli forms. So I don't actually have metal cannoli forms. Uh, odds are most people don't. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use some aluminum foil to make these. So we're just gonna tear off a piece of aluminum foil and then just kinda form it into a round cylinder. Like that. So this will allow us to wrap the dough around it and then fry it. So we're just gonna make a few of these and have them ready to go. All right, so next that our dough has been sitting out for about 30 minutes, it is ready to be worked with. So what we're going to do is we are going to first flour the surface and then we're just gonna roll this out. Once we have it about a quarter an inch thick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out little circles. So I don't have a circle cookie cutter. So what I'm gonna do is just use this Tupperware container. Uh, you can basically use anything that's circle shape. All right, so then we are going to take our aluminum foil rings and then we are just going to wrap our dough around that. So where the two ends meet here, we just wanna wipe this with egg wash. So here we just have a beat up egg. So we're just gonna paint this with some egg wash and then fold this over and kind of just pinch it together. And there we have our first cannoli ring. They're just gonna keep doing this. So since I only have about four aluminum cannoli forms, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stack the rest of these on a plate. We're just gonna lightly flour in between each layer so that they don't stick together. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop these guys into a pan of oil. So here I just have some vegetable oil that's up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we just want to cook these in here. Uh, you can use a larger pan. However, I want the smaller pan. Uh, I will have to do these one at a time, but with going with a smaller pan, I won't have to use as much oil. So I'm just gonna drop these guys in. So we're just gonna hold this down for a little bit. So then once you get that golden brown color that we're looking for, we're gonna just take this out and put it on a wire rack just to kind of drain the oil from the cannoli shell. So now that our cannolis have cooled just a little bit, what we're gonna do, stick a knife in there and push the uh, aluminum foil down a little bit just so that they can slide out. And then there we go, we have our first cannoli. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by piping the filling into the shells and then we're going to use these toppings 
to then decorate it and give it extra flavor. All right, so there we have it. There we have our cannolis. So Ellie, which one would you like to try? And which one's that? Chocolate. Chocolate one? All right, you get the first bite. Exploding with chocolate. How is it? Great. Great. Which one would you like to try, Court? I'm gonna do the cherry coconut. Okay. And creamy. I want one too. And you want coconut one too? Tasty. I think overall the flavor is excellent. So I did taste the shell individually just to see what it tastes like. It did taste quite a bit different than what you would expect. Uh, we used an Aramella wine instead of a Marcella wine. Typically you'd use a Marcella. Uh, the Aramella one gave it kind of a pear flavor as the wine itself naturally has a kind of a pear flavor. But overall I think it's really good okay yeah i really like it it's nice and light um it, even though the filling is creamy it's a it's a light light and creamy i guess you could say yeah definitely okay. and then the toppings really just kind of pull it together as you would expect i mean what's not to like sugar uh chocolate and coconut i mean so with that being said if you like this video please hit the like button down below uh, if you want to see more like it please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video. Well, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Arrivederci.